Since the dawn of strength training, human beings have had to rely on the movement of mass, usually in the form of iron weights, as the source for the resistance. When we move heavier and heavier mass, yes, we do get stronger. But strength is only half the equation. The other half is speed. It doesn't matter if you're a pro athlete, a weekend warrior, or senior on the golf course. Strength at speed is at the very core of taking performance to higher levels. This isn't our opinion. This is the law of physics. Take a baseball swing, for example. To make the ball go farther, you must swing faster. Simple. The bat isn't getting any heavier. So why only train for strength when speed is what's needed? It's why they call it bat speed. And strength training at speed, that's true power. And what is power? Power is strength times speed. This is why Kaiser developed the pneumatic variable resistance system to develop real power, not just strength. Here's how it works. We've modified a simple leg extension machine so that the left leg is using traditional iron weights and the right leg uses Kaiser's system. We further modified this machine by adding a force transducer to measure the actual force being applied along with a position transducer to measure the flexion of the joint. This allows for an accurate, real-time comparison of these two resistance methods through the entire range of motion. Now, we're going to start out slow. As both legs move through the range of motion, we can see that the force and the flexion are pretty much identical. If you're going to train slow, it's obvious that you don't need Kaiser. Traditional resistance of moving physical mass is good enough. Now, let's introduce speed into the movement. First, the iron side. When moving at a faster speed, the iron side shock loads the joints, tendons, and ligaments at the onset of the motion because, as we know, it takes a lot more force at the beginning of our movement to get the mass moving. The variability is now working against us. And as this mass gains momentum, that mass ultimately gets lighter. And when we move at this speed, that mass starts to come right off our foot. It's pretty obvious that we are losing much of the workout's effectiveness. Now, let's apply speed to the Kaiser side. Since we aren't dealing with any mass, the laws of physics are no longer a barrier. And therefore, we can maintain the desired variable resistance curve at any speed. So at the initial takeoff point, when our joints and connective tissue is at its most vulnerable, the resistance is lighter. As we continue through this movement, the resistance increases where we need it most, the muscle. It's really that simple. Only Kaiser's system makes true functional training possible. You can't call it functional training if you can't do it at speed. Train slow, be slow. Train fast, be fast. Train heavy and fast, be powerful. Because strong can be stronger. Fast can be faster. Power can be more powerful. Because science is on our side. Kaiser, because good enough isn't.